Hi, I'm Belinda Carley, the Director of the Institute of Personal Care Science, and today I'm going to show you how to make a super stable, silicon-free, oil-free serum that contains 15% ascorbic acid. Now, if you've ever worked with this material before, or if you're investigating working with ascorbic acid, let me tell you straight away, it's one of the most instable materials we can work with as chemists, especially when you put it into a water continuous phase. And until now, we've been limited to help enhance the stability of an ascorbic acid formulation by incorporating it into a silicon-based serum. Well, today I'm gonna to show you how to incorporate a 15% of an ascorbic acid powder into a silicon-free, oil-free serum. It's completely stable and it feels amazingly soft on finish and absolutely no greasy residue. And of course, you'll get a great shelf life out of this material because I'm not using water either. Let me introduce you to some of the special materials that enable me to create this product. First of all, this is the product we're gonna be making here. As you can see, it's a beautifully light serum. It rubs straight in, dispenses well from serum packaging, no greasy residue, no powdery or balling finish. And part of that comes from the ultra fine form of ascorbic acid I'm using. This one I have sourced from DSM. It's their ascorbic acid ultra fine powder. Now it's such a small particle size that we can wet it out with our silicon alternatives and we get this amazingly stable finished product and an absolutely beautiful absorbing finish. Now a couple of the very special materials I'm also using in this formula to get such a soft finish without any of that balling up is to use some of these grant materials. The first is Veggie Light 1214LC. Now this is a silicon alternative. It is also partially volatile, which contributes to that beautiful soft and dry finish, not greasy, and there's absolutely no residue there at all. You can even see there's no greasy shine. I'm pairing this with their brand new Grand Sense TC8X. Now this is an all green, 100% sustainably green produced product. Uh, it is a silicon alternative again to their copolymer materials. And this is what it actually looks like here. Now this enables us to build up that beautiful serum viscosity, but it also contributes to the skin feel of this product. So the first thing I need to do is thoroughly wet out my ascorbic acid powder. So I've got my ascorbic acid in my veggie light and I'm just going to put this through high shear to thoroughly wet out and homogeneously distribute these particles through the emollient phase. And there we have a nice homogeneous, fully wetted out ascorbic acid powder. Now remember ascorbic acid is water soluble. So the purpose of this step is to make sure that I'm thoroughly wetting out, thoroughly surrounding all of those ultra fine particles with my emollient phase. Now I switch to low shear mixing and I'm going to slowly add my copolymer into my ascorbic acid phase to build up my beautiful serum consistency. I'm not using high shear at this stage because I don't wanna break up this copolymer structure. I'm going to use the viscosity from this material to build up a nice serum consistency to help stabilize my product and give it its beautiful viscosity and skin feel. And there we have our beautiful, stable vitamin C serum. 
I've used these partially volatile silicon alternatives from Grant to show you some options and of course I've used them because they're partially volatile to give you that super soft silky finish that's not greasy and absolutely no residue. You could of course use other emollients that aren't volatile, you just won't get as dry and silky finish from using those materials, there would be some residue. And you can of course use silicon, volatile silicon alternatives in this formula as well. I'm just giving you a silicon alternative. And of course you not only get the stability and benefits of this ultra fine ascorbic acid powder, you also get the moisture protective and emollient benefits from the emollients I've used in this formula as well. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, please leave any questions or comments below and make sure you subscribe to receive notifications about all our videos. Happy formulating!